Todd Gilliland still maintaining the top spot. Ben Rhodes, Chase Purdy, Purdy looking to the outside, but no one goes with him. Single file, nobody stepping out of line, and we are down to the final two laps here at Talladega. Somebody's going to have to bust a move and do it in a hurry. It's Todd Gilliland, Ben Rhodes, Chase Purdy, Brett Holm, uh, Holmes, and Sheldon Creed, top five. The problem with waiting for somebody else to play the first card is that sometimes nobody does. Gilliland hoping that's the case. Creed to the outside. Here they come on the back stretch. Chase Purdy jumps up in front of Creed. Now drivers dart back to the bottom of the racetrack. They're side by side now for the lead. Get the land to the bottom. Chase Purdy on the outside with help from Brett Holmes. Chase Purdy with all the momentum in the outside lane, drafting help from Holmes. Now Purdy's going to cut across the racetrack. He'll go back to the inside. Holmes leads the outside lane, which stalls out just a bit off turn four. Chase Purdy has the lead at Talladega, and he gets turned. Purdy goes for a spin down to the infield grass the rest of the field fans out three wide caution is on the speedway they did not get to the white flag caution came out before the leader got to the white flag because chase purdy and his carolina blue and white bama buggies entry got turned at the entrance to the trioval he's refired that truck and will be able to continue on the emotions of nascar in a matter of about 200 yards the spotter saying to chase purdy you're the race leader coming to the white one to go and next thing you know you are turned around sliding through the infield grass and headed to the tail end of the field let's pick them back up as they race their way off four and back to the trioval he let his truck drift up a full width uh, one full lane to driver's right and gave the bottom of the racetrack to todd gilliland who had a head of steam with drafting help behind him and then Chase, I think, realized, or the spotter maybe realized, you better get back down to the bottom. By then, it was too late. The right, or rather, left rear corner got into the right front of Todd Gilliland. Chase Purdy gave the bottom of the racetrack away and could not close the door in time. And he did that right in front of Todd Gilliland's truck. And Steve Post, uh, everybody is talking about the gaping hole in the front of that Ford F-150. Our race leader, Todd Gilliland, with a big hole up on the right front nose of that truck. Yes, there is. Everybody is talking about it, and nobody is going to do anything about it. They are not going to bring that truck in. They're the race leader, as you said. They're just going to see what they have out here as far as the damage on the truck goes, but they will not bring Todd Gilliland in. They've looked at it through the binoculars, and they are staying out. 